Today, we're looking into everyone's revised national housing market forecast for 2024, 2025, including my forecast earlier this year. I pared it down to three main points. Thank goodness. The last time it was like 98 minutes. But first, here's what I said earlier this January. Daryl's bold predictions for 2024. Prices are going to increase. When the interest rates drop another percent or so, that means more people can afford to buy these properties here in the South Bay, Los Angeles. But just think about this for a minute. You can always refinance your rate, but you can never renegotiate the price you paid for your property. I never thought about that, man. Home prices are up so far this year, and these experts are predicting national price growth in the mid-3 to 4% per year over the next three years. And as you probably know, mortgage interest rates aren't really going down. They were, they were in the mid-6s earlier this year for like a minute and a half, and then the rates went back up. And as of today, after a disappointing CPI report, two days ago, we're hovering in the low 7s. You know... There's one person who stays indoors and makes these things go up and down on the markets, don't you? Yeah, that one. Make it go up. And that one. No, below that. Yes, yes, make it go down. This week, the CPI came out above what everyone's expecting, causing the tenor treasuries to jump to the highest since last November at 4.5%. In turn, this will make mortgage interest rates also go up because they follow suit. So they're calling it sticky inflation. It's not going away as fast as we want, for sure. That's a sticky one. Sticky. Fannie Mae's recent survey just came out, and they gathered the insights from over 100 housing experts. And here's what they see happening in the remainder of this year nationally. Number one, panel predicts 3.8% increase in home prices this year, which is actually higher than their previous estimate of 2.4%. So there's optimism, but it's important to understand that the experts are more bullish than the others. Some are. The survey revealed a jump in the share of panelists from 26 to 41% who believe there's an upside risk to their forecast. Now, if you're like me, when you hear from 26% to 41% who believe there's an upside risk in their forecast. Wait, now we have a risk for the upside? What's that? You kind of start thinking about, you know, what you're making for dinner or even like, why didn't I study more in high school? Don't worry. Here's what they meant. What they meant to say is, Daryl, if I may, go ahead. The increase in experts producing upside risk to their home price forecast means a significant portion, 41 to 26% previously, believe actual growth could be higher than their initial 3.8% prediction. So, while there's a chance home prices could climb faster, unforeseen economic or sudden rise in mortgage rates could still impact the project. I, don't know. I hope that makes more sense. What? I wasn't listening. I fell asleep halfway through. What risk? Number two, the next is mortgage rates. Fun, right? Late last year and early this year, everyone expected rates to come down into the 5%. Experts now predict a median 30-year fixed rate by 6% by year's end. Lower rates are always good news for affordability, but it's still higher than historical averages. And historically speaking... In the article, they say that over 80% of the people in the U.S. who have mortgages have rates that are under 6%. And that's a whole lot of people. Now, like I said earlier, currently, they're now hanging around the low 7% and are bouncing around daily. And when you hear people talk about rates coming down to 5%, they're hoping for 5.9% so they can say it's a 5 when it's really a 6. Which is it? 5 or 6 which is super fun if you're a buyer right now. Oh, it's fun. It's it's super fun. And I know a lot of people are waiting for either prices to drop or interest rates to drop before jumping in the market. I get it. We all want lower monthly payments. But how certain are you that we're going to see lower rates in the next 6 to 12 months? Meanwhile, you're waiting for rates to drop while values are still going up. That's a difficult math problem to solve for sure. Math, 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 math. Now, before I get to the third and final point, I just want to point out that local expertise makes a difference. You know, these are national trends we're talking about, right? And the South Bay market can be quite different than most markets. And remember, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Dondo Beach, and the surrounding cities, the peninsula, they all have their own unique little dynamics. So here's where a local real estate agent comes in. Is he local? <laughs> I'm immersed in the market to provide you guys with hyper-local data, insights, whatever's going on right now in the market here in the South Bay. And this level of detail is crucial for helping you make informed real estate decisions. Yep. Plus, he's a local hero. So, yeah. 
Yet you also need to know a little bit about what's going on nationally. You know, so we must push on. Push, push, push. Whether you're selling or selling and buying, that I can help you navigate the South Bay market with hyper-local knowledge. So text me at 310-502-4240 or go to meetdaryl.com and get on my calendar and let's make a plan or even to get some more info, okay? We need more information. Number three, the third point is supply squeeze. Remember what I said in January in my predictions video? Demand is going to continue to push prices up. But when interest rates drop below 6% fixed, you think prices are high now. And if you think inventory is low now, It's supply and demand. It's the foundation of our entire economy, Paul. A key factor to driving these predictions is the ongoing shortage of homes for sale. And you know, like I mentioned in my January video, with fewer options in the market, high competition pushes higher prices. You're afraid of a little competition. And here in the beach cities of South Bay, Los Angeles, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, we're still in a super low inventory market. So although so far this year we're up a little bit in inventory than last year, but the well-priced properties are still selling quickly, and a lot of them have multiple offers and are selling over asking price. Okay, so we're stuck in the sticky inflation. Sticky? What? T-I-C-K-Y. And it doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon. And interest rates are still higher than we want them to be. And we know that this market will blow up again when rates get into the fives because when they were in the mid sixes in December last year, we saw a bump in activity that was remarkable because it was December and that's usually the slowest month for real estate closings. One more and, and I'm going to come over there and I'm going to, ah, I said it again. This is so slow. So stay tuned for what's happening next because although we kind of know, we kind of don't know. We just know that it's happening slower than we all want it to be. (laughs) Slow. 